Hello there, my name is Mark from www.fantasyfootballscout.co.uk and in this movie I'm going to show you what we've got on offer in the members area for the Euro 16 tournament. So I'm logged in here as a member, I'm accessing the members area at the URL and I'm seeing by default the dashboard uh, showing Barclays Premier League data. That's what most people are going to see when they log in. Um, it's what you see during the obvious the main season, but we want to view the Euro 16 data and we do that by using this new competition drop down here. That gives us access to the international friendlies or the European Championship qualifiers. So for friendlies you've got about 12 months of friendly matches and all the friendly matches up to the tournament. And then for the qualifiers you've got data for all the qualifying rounds of Euro 16. So let's have a look at some of those now. OK, so we've selected international friendlies and so the dashboard changes now to show uh, basically the re recent matches, the recent international friendlies that have taken place and we can click on any of those to see the match dashboard. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we've got stats top fives. These are for all the friendlies that have taken place here that are counted in our statistics. So you can see top for shots, chances created passing and so on. So quite a lot of information on that dashboard. Uh, and then from here, as I mentioned, you can click on any match. But what we're going to do is start looking at some player stats first of all. So let's go into there now. OK, so let's look at some player stats for international friendlies. We'll click that now. Uh, and so these tables effectively show all the players that played in a friendly match for one of the 24 qualifying nations. We've basically filtered out the players that aren't in the tournament to make it easier to get to the data that you want. Goalkeepers we're viewing by default, but you can select any of these positions here. So we can look at midfielders, for example. And that will obviously filter the tables to show any midfielders. And then across the top for all the tables, you've got these tabs which switch to different table types. Um, so, for example, we can click on distribution and that will show us all the passing factors uh, at play for the players in friendlies. And then any of these factors here we can we can sort on. So if we we're playing DraftKings, we click on crosses. That's really important. And then we see De Bruyne has made the most crosses in international friendlies. And as always, we can use filters here to filter that down by last match, last two matches and so on. Again, just so you can get uh, drill down into the data a bit more. Um, so that's basically how the player tables work. Uh, and the team tables work exactly the same way. We'll go and look at those next. So click on team stats. And here for international friendlies are all the stats for the team. So we can click on any of these columns again. And you've got the same uh, statistical tables available. So we can look at goal threat, for example, here. And this will give us an idea of who the most attacking teams in the international friendlies were. Click on attempts and there we go. Not surprisingly, they did play the most friendlies. France, because they didn't have qualifiers, had the most attempts. And you can see minutes per chance, which gives you perhaps a better idea of how attacking they are. So you can sort on any of these things. And again, you've got all these uh, tables available to you and all the sorts and, of course, all the filters as well. So really powerful stuff. Um, next, we're going to start looking at profiles for players and teams. So let's click team profiles. And here we can now select any of the teams we want. So let's have a look at France in particular. Um, just briefly, so you click on the name of the country and that will basically launch their team profile. And from here again, remember we're still looking at international friendlies. We get an idea of France's stats um, for all the key areas. And we've also got a stat map here which show all their goals and various statistics we can select here. Um, so let's have a look at open play goal attempts and it will map them out for us. There we go. And the green are the attempts on target and you can roll over any of those. Lots of data there. And then crucially as you scroll down you've got the stat tables for the players within that team and you can again sort by any of these tabs. So really, really powerful view there. If you want to just look at France, drill down into them and go, right, what are the players that I want to look at from their international friendlies? The team profiles page is where to go, basically. And you can just select another team from here and go straight to that profile. So again, really powerful, lots of data on offer. Uh, OK, so let's show uh, player profiles next. And we can do that by clicking any player on display here. So let's click on Giroud and have a look at his profile. Uh, this works where his team profile would. You've got all the key data for this player here. Uh, latest injuries appear if he's a Premier League player, which Giroud is, of course. Uh, so all the stats collected for you. And then you've got the pitch map at the top. And again, you can select any of these that you want to see. Uh, you know, goal attempts, green meal on target. Uh, you can apply filters as always as well and also from here you can run a comparison so um, we've got a comparison tool set up here but you can run it from a player profile so let's compare him to Griezmann which is a very popular comparison you can click compare now and then that brings up the comparison tool straight there loads in Giroud and Griezmann and lets me do a compare head to head for all the key stats gives you a quick summary at the top 
Uh, and then, you, yeah, as you can say, you can do a head-to-head -head there for the stats. Very easy to read there who, who fares better for each stat. And you've got the pitch maps to do head-to-head -head stuff as well there. And you can show average per appearance. So at the moment we're showing total stats, but we can do average per appearance to level the playing field a bit. There we go. Uh, and yeah, really, really useful. Very powerful. You can change the player search in here. Um, you know, it's a key tool. Certainly very useful to play in any fancy game. So team comparison works the same way. I'll click on teams uh, and I've got my comparison tool and here I can go, okay, let's compare France to England over their friendlies. Don't forget, we're still in friendlies. Um, so that compares those two teams. Uh, obviously we know that France played more matches than England, so let's do averages per match. That will level it out and then gives us a fair comparison of the two teams. And there you go, there's all the stats uh, and head-to-head -head for England versus France over the international friendlies. And again, all the maps are there. Really, really useful. Um, so yeah, that's team comparison and player comparison. I think you're going to find yourself using them a lot. Okay, let's show the match dashboard next. So I'm going to click on matches here. So this effectively shows all the friendly matches included in our data currently. Uh, you'll notice it starts on the 4th of September. You can go back further than that. If you click the season 2014-15, you can switch to even earlier friendlies back to the 5th of June. Uh, basically Opta put their friendly matches into seasons and this first batch are in the earlier season. But let's go back to 2015-16. Uh, we can scroll down here, view all the matches, and then for any of these matches we can view the match stats. So we can look at, for example, Sweden versus Wales and see basically the stats in that 3-0 win for Sweden. And here we go, there's the goal scores. You get pitch match showing average position of all the players, so you can see exactly where the players lined up uh, and here you can obviously change the stat maps again to map goal attempts and so on you get team stats so you can view the team stats uh, head to head like that and then you've also got player stats of all those involved so you can see who had the most attempts in the match and again click on any of these profiles and you take get taken to that player so the match dashboard is there for every single match in our database so in this case it's every single friendly um, but of course you'll have that for the qualifiers uh, and for the tournament proper once the tournament starts. So let's go back to the dashboard and have a look at the qualifiers. So we're back on the dashboard here uh, and again we're still showing international friendlies but I can switch competition to European Championship qualifiers, click go and then it will change the data and load in all the qualifying round data. So now we're going to be able to see the same stuff that I've shown you but with the European Championship qualifiers being the stats. And there you see shots, chances created, passing and so on. It's instantly get a view on the top stats there. You get all the recent matches and you click on here to go to the match dashboard. And then as before, you've got your player stats, team stats and so on. So two sets of data there, one for friendlies, one for qualifiers. And of course, when the tournament starts, you'll get European Championships tournament up here as well. So you can start viewing the data for that. Uh, and data will arrive for matches roughly a minute after the whistle blows. Um, just want to show you um, custom stats tables first of all, so let's look at those next. So click on my stats tables first of all, uh, and this is a really powerful feature. Basically it allows you to create your own stats tables that analyse the data that we've got in our database. So you can click on create table and put in a name of a table with description here, and then you can start selecting stat columns from a massive list of stats available. You can choose to filter on a particular position or a particular team. Um, you can use global filters or you set the filters. So if you set the filters, then basically what you're saying here is, you know, you're just setting the filters now at this point. Or you can just use global filters, which are our default ones, last two matches, last four matches, etc. Uh, you can basically sort the table by a particular stat that you've selected up here. You can set conditions, uh, and I'll show you those in a minute. Then you can tag it and share it with the community, and then it will basically appear as a public stats table, which we'll look at in a minute. Let's go back to my stats tables. I've got one here in test. I can modify that and show you. So this one is basically looking at aerial jewels. So let's call that uh, aerial. Uh, let's type properly, shall I? Uh, aerial jewels. Uh, so basically what this does, it looks at those three stats there. Uh, I'm showing all positions for all teams using global filters, um, sorting by Aerial Jewels 1, showing the top 20, uh, and but any player must have at least 10 Aerial Jewels 1 to be included. Update the table and I can view it. Uh, and then basically, at the moment, we've got an issue in that we're showing all the players uh, from the European Championship qualifiers, not just those in, that actually qualified, not just the 2014s, but we're sorting that at the moment. 
That's why right now it's a little bit slow. But so these players won't be appearing soon. But here you go. Uh, here's my table. Uh, Aero Jaws one, and it's sorting by uh, that there with 68. So I can see quickly there who are the most powerful players in the air during the qualifiers. And as I can say, I can share this and make this available as a public stats table. And here are all the public stats that are available. And you can click on these, get a description of what's in them, click on them, and view the work of some of our leading stat table buffs within the community. So that's a really, really nice tool and allows you to share knowledge and also just drill down further into the data to create tables that perhaps we haven't done for you. So there we go, we're back on the dashboard. Um, hopefully that movie sums up what's available for our members for Euro 16. Uh, don't forget that when the tournament starts, you'll get the European Championship tournament data in there as well, another set of data. So you can get um, basically data on the on the players and teams a minute after each match takes place. So you, as you're playing your fancy games, you get an up-to-date view on the stats. Uh, and of course, this package is available as part of the pre-season membership, £12.50 before the season starts. And the Euro data it just carries on into the Premier League season. So as well as the Euro data now, you'll get Premier League data for the 16-17 season, as well as access to all our usual tools like Rate My Team and the Season Ticker, which I'll show you in other movies if you haven't seen them already. But yeah, um, that's our membership on offer now for the Euro 16. Um, yeah, sign up at fantasyfootballscout.co.uk. Thanks very much.